Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you an interesting and easy topic like sampling gate. So, what do you mean by sampling gate? You might have heard logic gate. Logic gate that is different, and sampling gate this is different. Sampling gate. Suppose here is a diagram which clearly explains you what do you mean by a sampling gate. Okay. See, this is the sampling gate. Like you suppose if I say you are having your college. You are having a college. That college is having a gate. Okay, let us consider this is the gate. Okay, gate and gate is having a watchman. At the gate, college every college has a watchman. Now, this watchman. What is the purpose of this watchman? Watchman will identify who is the real uh, who is the reliable person of the college. Who is the reliable person of the college and only that particular person is going to be allowed into the college okay now you are going into the college you are and your friends are going into the college he will identify your identity card okay every student is having an id card that id card will be checked by this particular person if this identity card belongs to this college then he will open the gate and automatically this person will be allowed inside if this person does not identify who is this then he will he will simply close the gate and he will be returned back this is the general situation where every student can understand okay what is the purpose of watchman here watchman will open the gate or closes the gate depending upon the income depending upon the incoming data whether the incoming data is known or unknown okay now coming to the same concept like sampling gate here the purpose of sampling gate is also like your college gate okay it will send the incoming data vs to the output or it may discard simply depending upon the control signal now the sampling gate see gate how many gate uh, how many inputs are there at the gate one is at the one is a watchman another one is you a student so here also sampling gate is having two inputs one is the control voltage another one is the input signal vs vs has to go out vs has to go to the output when control signal is having a signal okay see this is the control signal control signal it has a pulse width like a tg tg is nothing but pulse width here it is known as gate width here it is known as gate width during this period during this period the gate is opened the gate is opened so whatever the data you are having in this particular duration that will be transferred to the output so only in this duration i can say v not is equal to vs v not is equal to vs when t is equal to tg v not is equal to 0 otherwise okay this is called sampling gate so the purpose of sampling gate will allow the signal vs to the output when the gating pulse is given when there is no gating pulse there is no output this is called sampling gate okay now coming to this implementation of sampling gate with a simple switch so a sampling gate can be implemented with a series switch or it may be also implemented with a parallel switch so uh, see here this is the input voltage normally you know this circuit the input voltage output voltage and this is the switch okay whenever the switch is closed input will be transferred to the output otherwise it is simply no output here whenever the input um, uh, what is the switch is opened whenever the switch is opened then only output is equal to input when the switch is closed output is equal to zero opposite case of the series and shunt okay because when the switch is closed what happens output is equal to zero here when switch is closed output is equal to input okay here output is equal to input when 
S is closed. Here output is equal to 0 when S is opened. Opposite case here. V0 is equal to Vn when S is open and V0 is equal to 0 when S is closed. Okay, this is just a normal implementation of any type of uh, sampling it with a with a use of switch. Now coming to the implementation of this sampling gate with a diode like uh, it is known as unidirectional diode gate because diode will allow the signal only in forward direction okay we know we know the operation of diode diode acts as a switch okay it uh, this particular arrow in the diode indicates a, the flow of conventional current the current will be flowing in one direction from p to n there is no reverse current okay reverse current is very very small but it, that is negligible okay so using this diode we can have only one direction that's why this concept is known as unidirectional diode gate as this gate is implemented with a diode unidirectional diode sampling gate also we can refer to okay now see here how the sampling is going to be occurred with this type of circuit diagram here we are using two signals as i mentioned one is the signal input Another one is the gate or control input. Gate or control input. See, here it is the amplitude and this is the time period Tg for which the signal is going to be opened. The gate control signal is going to be applied. Only in this particular duration, the signal will be transferred to the output. Okay. Now, we know the purpose of diode. Diode is having two terminals like a P type and N type. If P type and N type potential difference is the potential difference between the p-type and n-type is a cut-in voltage like uh, 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 for silicon and 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 for germanium. Then the diode is said to be in open charge, short circuited. Then the input will be transferred to the output. See, output does not have anything. Output just we are whatever this whenever the diode is closed, the input will be transferred to the output and it will be appeared across the load resistor RL. Then V naught will be measured. Okay, whenever the diode is open circuited, then there is no output and there is no voltage across RL. Okay, see input signal and this gating pulse. Here these two signals are merged together at this particular point. We don't have anything. We have a capacitor from one side and we have a resistor on the other side. These two signals are combined together and giving to the diode. What is the meaning of this merging? Merging here is nothing but it is superimposed or we can say um, depending upon the values of this particular gating signal and the input signal the two signal the two signals are merged together and forming like a pedestal and forming like a pedestal I will tell what you mean by pedestal suppose if I am taking these two voltages are negative voltages okay I am taking V1 is equal to minus 10 volts vt is equal to minus 20 volts and the input signal i am taking from 0 to 10 volts a pause to 10 volts okay for better understanding i am taking the values as 10 0 20 okay so 0 to 10 volts this is the pause to voltage i am giving at the input signal and minus 10 volts and minus 20 volts as the gating signal okay so minus 10 volts minus 20 volts means how can you say that it is this is the minus 20 and this is minus 10 whereas coming to the input signal input signal is ranging from 0 to 10 0 to 10 if you draw these two waveforms on a single graph then exactly the gap between these two is 10 volts because this is the zero axis okay below 10 the waveform starts so minus 10 and it is minus 20 goes down and above it is 0 to 10 it is the input signal vs and it is the control signal vc okay so 
what happens and here we are having a pedestal pedestal so pedestal means this particular waveform is superimposed on this waveform see how it is appeared is like this see as i said it is the value at vs is equal to 0 and it is somewhere non zero value we are taking here 0 and 10 and here it is minus 20 and minus 10 okay now see this is minus 20 minus 10 and when this particular input signal is applied like this we will be having the resultant signal like this there is no output here here the output is zero here the output is zero because because see input i am taking 10 volts here and it is zero when these two are merged together combined together this positive peak and this highest peak uh, maximum values see what is the maximum peak here uh, i will tell here see what is the maximum peak value plus 10 what is the maximum peak value here minus 10 so plus 10 minus 10 gives 0 okay and what is the value here 0 and it is minus 20 so it is minus 20 so that's why it is starting from 0 it starts from 0 and it is minus 10 it is minus 20 okay so as there is no signal above the zero reference level there is no output so output simply zero because diode will not on diode will be on the diode will be on if you are having any voltage during in pause to cycle now what i am doing is i am changing the amplitude of the negative uh, what is this minus 10 to a level like minus 5 minus 5 okay minus 10 previously it was now i am changing it to minus 5 this is the case 1 case 1 and now in the second case i am taking the negative peak value as minus 5 when it is minus 5 so superimposed with this plus 10 value plus 10 minus 5 will give plus 5 volts so plus 5 volts that goes in the positive peak plus 5 volts remaining 5 is there here this is the remaining 5 volts and this is the remaining gating pulse hope you understand how i am saying okay the total amplitude is 10 only from here to here but how much peak is there in the positive side how much peak is there in the negative side that depends upon the gating pulse signal okay as the gating pulse is minus 10 in the previous case so minus 10 and the remaining is 10 that when these two are superimposed see minus 10 here we are having zero reference level the gap is 10 volts as i said here see this gap is 10 then these two are merged together this 10 comes down to this value okay and similarly when give when we are taking minus 5 volts so plus 5 here and remaining 5 here so it is yes plus 5 volts is there the diode will be having plus 5 volts from the output so this is the plus 5 volts output okay and if i still go if i still go like a 0 to 20 i am taking the gating pulse minimum uh, maximum value as 0 and minimum value as minus 20 so 0 and input voltage is 0 to 10 so 10 volts will be appear at the output okay and if you still increase above 5 volts like i am taking 5 volts here the 5 volts indicates the maximum positive value maximum peak of the gating signal and it is already 10 so 5 already is there from the gating signal and the remaining 10 volts always it is 10 only we are not changing the gating signal okay so it is 5 it is 10 and totally 15 volts will be appear at the output this particular this particular height is nothing but your pedestal pedestal this pedestal is due to the gating pulse pedestal is due to gating signal this occurs this occurs when the amplitude of 
gating signal is more amplitude of the gating signal is more that is called pedestal pedestal is nothing but unnecessary extra signal due to the gating signal actually the input signal is from 0 to 10 only but additional 5 volts is due to the gating signal okay or we can also say it is the extra signal unnecessary unnecessary signal in the output when compared to the input and compared to the input actually input is 10 volts but here output is 15 volts that extra 5 volts is due to the gating signal okay so if you are seeing the advantages of this unidirectional gating signal is some advantages of unidirectional diode gate diode gate or first one it is extremely simple first one is very simple operation and as well as circuit there is very little time delay through the gate time delay is small the gate draws no current in its quiescent condition gate draws no current in quiescent condition quiescent condition that means when there is no application of input the gate can be easily extended into a multi input or gate with an inhibitor or not terminal by applying additional gates we can also improve the operation of the particular unidirectional gate okay by adding few more few more diodes but uh, two disadvantages are there like there will be a, uh, there will be interaction between the signal source and the control voltage source as i said pedestal pedestal is due to the interaction of the control signal and the input signal another thing is the gate is of limited use because of the slow rise of the control voltage at the diode okay so uh, uh, when compared to all these advantages and disadvantages more advantages are there than the disadvantages but the pedestal can be removed by refining the circuits in the coming videos okay this is about sampling gate unidirectional diode gate thank you